Hi guys, today we're going to show you a very interesting product from uh, Car Trim Home. This is a modified armrest which comes uh, with the wireless charger right here. Uh, also comes with two USB ports, one and two. And as you can see, it comes with uh, blue LED lighting, both uh, on the outside and on the inside of the storage box. This armrest can be purchased at the Car Trim Home website and I will leave the link in the description. We had to remove the original armrest and this allowed us to install this new product. The new armrest is slightly shorter than the old one, but it still provides enough surface for you to rest your arm. The new armrest is soft and it's covered with synthetic leather. Overall, it does feel like a high quality product. Uh, the storage box stays the same. Uh, the only difference now is that we had to install the 12 volt cigarette lighter socket extension uh, because the new armrest gets connected uh, to the power using this plug. Um, the power can be connected in a few different ways. Uh, this will depend on the configuration of uh, your vehicle. If your RAV4 comes with a cigarette lighter socket installed directly inside uh, the storage box in this area, in some trims you will see it here, then you can easily connect it this way. And this is how the armrest was designed to get connected in the first place. If you don't have the socket inside the box, uh, you can connect the power to the rear 12 uh, volt socket using the extension similar to how we did this. We will show the full installation process a little bit later in the video. There are a couple of other ways how you could uh, connect uh, the power. One of them would be to connect the power to the front cigarette lighter socket. This way you have to use the extension as well. The other way would be to connect uh, the power to the fuse box of the vehicle but this is slightly more complicated uh, procedure and it goes out of the scope of this video. Right now we will quickly test our wireless charger first. As you can see it starts charging, it uses fast charger, which is great and as you can see it actually works even through this thick uh, case. Let's open it again. And as you can see it starts charging. And now the USB ports, as I said there are two of them here. So I will try this one first. So same idea, we have fast charging. This is port number one and uh, port number two. And as you can see, even though the USB ports are located right here, uh, because they're in the middle, it doesn't affect uh, the cup holder at all. So you can still use uh, both uh, with two wires coming out of these USB ports. You can use USB ports and you can use the cup holders. And this is how LEDs look like uh, in the dark area. Um, in the camera they actually look white, but in real life they look more bluish, just be aware of that. And uh, they even provide some light for the storage box, but not too much. Uh, it's uh, mainly used as uh, the ambient uh, lighting. A couple more things I want to point out about the uh, new armrest. First of all, after a short drive, uh, I found out that it's slightly higher than the original armrest, so I mean it still works fine for me uh, But it may or may not work for everybody uh, also The plastic on the side uh, on the sides doesn't match the OEM exactly and uh, the one more thing when you open the lid and uh, let it close on its own 
it will slowly do that uh, by itself, which is pretty cool, in my opinion. Alright guys, our test is complete. Uh, thank you for watching. The link for the product uh, will be in the description. And uh, now we will proceed uh, to the installation part of the video. First we will remove this black plastic cover using the trim removal tool. Then you have to disconnect um, all connectors. The next step is to remove this spring assembly. First we have to remove this metallic uh, retainer which holds the rod in place. Uh, first you need to remove the spring. And now you can slide out the rod. And this will allow us to remove the original armrest. And this is our new armrest. Let's see how it looks like underneath. So we have 3M tape in the back and in the front. And also this is our 12 volt connector. As I said before, in some vehicle the socket will be here, but in this case it's uh, missing. That's why we'll have to go to the back of uh, our central console. For this we have to use uh, this extension. Right now I will show you how to run it through the central console. You can easily reach uh, the wire with your hand and now for the moment we'll just uh, put the plastic cover on top of the wire but a little bit later we may drill or cut out a small hole for the wire, like this. This will allow us to fully close uh, the plastic cover. For now it just gives you an idea how the wire goes and uh, where the socket will be installed. The extension that we have is also a splitter, but you don't have to use this one. You can uh, just use a single uh, socket with the extension. The new armrest simply goes on top of the existing uh, central console. One more time, the tape will be underneath this plastic, so you have to hold this side to make sure that uh, adhesion works. And also there is tape on the back side. Same idea, use some pressure to attach uh, the new armrest. Now the original um, plastic cover goes back, so we have to reconnect all the connectors. And reinstall the original back cover.
and as you can see this is our wire and uh, it reaches the connector you don't have to install the original spring uh, because the new armrest already comes with one and now the new plastic uh, back piece goes on top of the original and you have to make sure that you open the cover for the uh, socket this way you'll be able to put the cover on and uh, the cover this cover gets secured with four bolts bolts come with the set to cover the holes uh, the set comes with a plastic trim piece which has been held by tape as well and we will install it right now goes on top like this and uh, don't worry it actually is not white it's just protective film on top of it this is how it looks our installation is complete again as I said before we had to use this uh, rear socket to power our wireless charger and the lights in certain other trims you will see the uh, 12 volt connector inside the box not in this case and as I said before you can also connect it to the front uh, 12 volt socket thank you guys for watching I hope this video was helpful the link for the product will be in the description and we'll see you in the next video.